Hello everyone, how's it going? In this quick tip tutorial, I'll show you how you can export your sprite animations into Unity. So I have this, made this simple coin animation. Let's go ahead and see how we can export that into Unity. So the first thing I'll do is to click on file and I'll just go to export sprite sheet like so. So you want to select the horizontal strip and then make sure that we've selected the layers we want to, you know, kind of like export. So I haven't done that. So I'll just go ahead and left click here and just drag from layer frame one to frame six while I've select a layer five right so this is my layer i'm just going to select from frame one to frame six once i've done that i'll just go to file and i'll just go to export sprite sheet and then i have the option of changing the name right here so we'll just call that coin underscore fresh just so we can actually have the name of that uh, export and what we're also going to do is to uh, open up the generated sprite sheet so once i click on export we can actually see we have the sprite sheet for that animation so what we're going to do is just head back to unity and also uh, see how we can open that up so i have unity opened up so i'll just go ahead and jump to my unity i'll just go ahead and uh, drop this down and also minimize this. So I have a little scene right here for a kind of game of making, working on. So what we're going to do is to import that sprite sheet. So to do that, let's just uh, reduce the size of Unity and just click on this drop down. And then I like to open up the folder where I have that animation. It's in my folder called Milk Boy. And we can actually see coin on the score fresh like so. I'm just going to set this to a large icon style so we can actually see coin underscore fresh so with coin underscore fresh selected i'll just set this back to uh, a small view i'll use a medium, medium view so with coin underscore fresh selected i'm just going to go to my uh, assets like so and i'll just create a new folder you, you don't really have to do this but if you want you can actually create a new folder let's just quickly create a new folder in our assets folder let's create a folder and let's just call that uh, coin and nim. And this is the folder where I want to keep that coin animation. So just like that, I'll just drag the coin underscore fresh to coin and nim. And just like that has been imported to Unity. And let's go ahead and maximize that. So I'll just open up the coin and nim and we can see coin fresh. So what I want to do is change the pixels per unit. So I'll set it to 32 pixels per unit. Also, what I need to do is to set the filter mode to point, no filter. And also, since this is a multiple sprite sheet, I'll just go ahead and switch the sprite mode to multiple and open up our sprite editor. So Unity is going to apply that setting and we're just going to see our sprite editor right here. So what we want to do is to slice this into grids. So once I click on slice and I don't want to use a automatic, I'll just use a uh, grid by cell count. And it wants to add, it's asking me for the uh, pixel size. Oh, let's just use a uh, grid by cell count. So I know I have six columns. So I'll just do a six by one and I'll just click on slice. And if we click on each one of these, we can actually see that it has divided this into a uh, six by one columns and it's given each coin a name. So let's go ahead and click on apply because I'm actually super satisfied with this. Now, if we actually go ahead and click on our coin underscore fresh and click the drop down, you might actually see it's giving you the names of each of these coins. And in case you're not having this, you can switch this to a two column layout such that you can actually click this and uh, kind of like see each of these coins like so. All right, so remember you can click these three dots and switch to two column layout so you can actually see this. So to create our animation, let's just take the first coin and just drop our first coin in our scene like so. All right, so let's just zoom in and make sure we actually have our coin just sitting down here in our scene. So with our coin selected, let's just change the name to coin like so. So we actually have changed that to coin and let's go ahead and go to our window and go to animation and open up the animation window. Now with that game object selected, we don't have any animation. So let's go ahead and create one animation. So I'll go to my uh, assets folder and I'll go to my animation folder and I'll just call that coin underscore new underscore anim just like so. 
So now that we've created that animation, it actually wants to see the frames we're going to animate because if you play this, we won't see anything. And that makes sense because we don't have anything we want to animate yet. So I'll just drag my animator animation window and just drop it right here. So what I'm going to do is to select my first coin and just place it like so. If you click on the coin sprite, you can actually see which sprite you're using. And I'll just space this, space this evenly, right? So just the three units. And I'll just drag these, uh, this like so. And just drag that. And drag that. Let's place that right here. And finally, I'll just drag the last one like so. So if I go ahead and kind of like play this, we can actually see our coin animating. If we don't like the speed, or we want to set this to a kind of like a default speed, what we can do is just select on our timeline and then we can just drag this, uh, space that evenly, and then we can actually see a uh, kind of nice animation. So uh, that's super awesome. So we just simply want this object to animate, and that's how we can actually achieve that animation. If we actually jump into the coin and name folder we created, right? So let's go to our assets and go to coin and name. We can actually check out the animations we uh, created. It's called coin underscore new. And we can actually see the animation plane when we jump into our scene. So let's go ahead and test our scene. And once we're in our scene, we can actually see our coin animating kind of like smoothly. So thank you very much for watching, guys. That's how you can create a coin, simple coin animation. If you like this, just give me a thumbs up and tell me what kind of tutorials you like to see from Ace Sprite. Thank you, guys.